Welcome to our lab. Here you will find summaries of books and articles from around the world. Start. Hello everyone. Thank you very much for visiting our website. This time, I would like to introduce the secret way to rejuvenate your blood. Let's get started. Today's items are as follows. In the first period, I will explain how to fill all the cells in your body with fresh blood. By practicing this, you can rejuvenate your blood. In the second term, we will discuss in detail the dangerous drinks that age cells throughout the body and make the blood sluggish. Let's begin with the first lecture, eat this if you want to rejuvenate your blood. Now, how well do you understand the importance of blood? Blood plays a very important role in supplying nutrients and oxygen to cells throughout the body, and at the same time, it collects waste and unwanted substances produced by cells throughout the body. If nutrients are properly supplied and unwanted substances are collected, cells throughout the body will remain healthy and young. In other words, the health of the blood is a major factor in the rejuvenation of cells throughout the body. What determines the health of the blood? One indicator is the amount of cholesterol. Cholesterol is a fatty substance in the blood that is essential to the body's health. When cholesterol is deficient, it cannot form cell walls or synthesize hormones. However, an excess of cholesterol can have a negative effect on the body. In particular, high cholesterol levels can promote the progression of atherosclerosis. Arteriosclerosis is the aging process of blood vessels, and hardening of blood vessels increases the burden on the heart and, in the worst case scenario, increases the likelihood of heart disease. In addition, hardened blood vessels lose flexibility, making it difficult to supply blood throughout the body. If blood is not supplied throughout the body, nutrients and oxygen are in short supply, and it becomes difficult to collect waste and unwanted substances, leading to cellular aging and overall aging of the body. Therefore, it is important to lower cholesterol levels and prevent atherosclerosis in order to prevent aging of cells throughout the body. Today, I will explain in detail the secret ingredients for lowering this cholesterol level, so please stay with me until the end. Now, before we get into the explanation of specific ingredients, let's further our knowledge of cholesterol. There are two main types of cholesterol. One is, bad cholesterol, medically known as LDL. High levels of bad cholesterol can easily clog blood vessels, putting a strain on the heart and the entire body. The other is, good cholesterol, or HDL. Good cholesterol has a positive effect on the body and increases the body's ability to transport bad cholesterol to the liver and remove it from the body. High levels of bad cholesterol increase arteriosclerosis, which means that blood cannot reach the cells and aging occurs. Therefore, less bad cholesterol and more good cholesterol is better for health. Recently, the concept of super bad cholesterol has emerged, and some people believe that the balance between bad and good cholesterol is important, and that bad cholesterol itself need not be viewed as overly hostile. All of these theories ultimately boil down to the importance of adopting a healthy lifestyle, proper diet, exercise, and sleep, and one healthy habit is to consume foods that help maintain proper cholesterol levels. Please try to incorporate these secret foods to rejuvenate your blood and energize all the cells in your body. Now, let me introduce you to some of them. First of all, the first, wonderful ingredient that rejuvenates blood vessels, is sake kasu, a traditional Japanese all-purpose seasoning. What do you think of when you hear the words, traditional Japanese all-purpose seasoning? Is it soy sauce or miso? Certainly, there are many traditional seasonings that Japan is proud of, but the one I would like to introduce today is sake kasu. Sake kasu? It may seem a little surprising that sake kasu has not received much attention recently, but it is really a shame. Sake kasu is a traditional Japanese fermented food, a fermented seasoning, and a food with truly wonderful health benefits. Sake kasu is what is left over from the process of making sake, but it is a big mistake to think that it is just leftover. In fact, sake kasu is an excellent food that is rich in nutrients and has a positive effect on our health. In particular, it is now secretly attracting attention for its great effect on blood pressure and blood vessel health, which are of concern as we age. In terms of blood pressure, sake lees contains peptides that help stabilize blood pressure. If blood pressure remains high, blood vessels continue to receive strong stimulation and age rapidly. Therefore, blood pressure must be kept at a relatively low level. The peptides contained in sake kasu help to stabilize blood pressure. Sake lees also has the effect of producing nitric oxide, which gently widens blood vessels. By widening blood vessels, it not only lowers blood pressure but also reduces damage to blood vessels. This will help smooth the flow of blood and prevent hardening of blood vessels. Furthermore, when it comes to cholesterol, sake lees has the effect of lowering the amount of bad cholesterol. It has been found that the indigestible protein called instant protein, contained in sake kasu lowers the amount of bad cholesterol. When this resistant protein reaches the intestines, it pulls lipids from the intestines and expels them with stools. In other words, it reduces the risk of heart disease and atherosclerosis because it helps to flush excess lipids out of the body. This is especially wonderful because modern diets tend to contain excessive amounts of carbohydrates and fats, and in this context, it is wonderful that it helps to expel fats. If you feel that you have consumed too much fatty food, we recommend that you adopt the habit of eating sake kasu. And the easiest way to consume sake lees is amazake. Amazake is perfect for warming up a cold body and is easy to make. It is especially recommended on cold winter days. 
Also, in summer, drinking it cold will give vitality to a body tired from the heat. Adding honey makes it even sweeter and tastier to drink, but we recommend drinking it as is to reduce fructose intake. Kasu Jiru, Sake Lee Soup, is another great option, especially in winter, as it warms the body and provides a pleasant fullness. When combined with dashi broth, simply simmer tofu, vegetables, or fish and you have a delicious soup that will soak up your body. Especially for those who want to consume high-quality protein easily. Sake Lee's is the perfect food for those who want to consume high-quality protein easily, so please give it a try if you are doing muscle training. And don't forget about Sake Kasu Sweets. Sake Kasu Ice Cream and Sake Kasu Pudding, in particular, go well with sweets because of their sweetness and aroma. If you check the internet, you will find many sake kasu recipes, which you can try whenever you have a craving for something sweet. Of course, since it is a food containing carbohydrates, please be careful about the amount you consume. As you can see, sake kasu is not only good for your health, but there are many ways to enjoy it deliciously. Because it is a fermented food, it also has wonderful benefits for intestinal health. Everyone, please try to incorporate it into your daily life and lead a healthy life. Now, let's talk about the second thing, the most powerful and tasty fish that rejuvenates the blood which I will introduce next to sake kasu. Do you eat fish every day? Japan is blessed with an abundance of delicious fish, so I would like to encourage you to eat as much fish as is in season at any given time. In particular, bluefish, which is commonly available in Japan, is a blood rejuvenating food that is perfect for our Japanese bodies. Therefore, I urge everyone to eat plenty of bluefish. Icosapentaenoic acid, EPA, which is abundant in bluefish, is a very good component for the body, especially strengthening the function of good cholesterol. This EPA enhances the power of good cholesterol, thereby effectively eliminating excess cholesterol in the body. Studies have shown that after 4 weeks of EPA intake, the power of good cholesterol increases by a whopping 2.6 times. This 2.6-fold figure is astounding. Good cholesterol has the ability to not only clean cholesterol, but also remove dangerous cholesterol from the walls of blood vessels. This reduces damage in the blood vessels, thereby reducing the risk of atherosclerosis and heart disease. Good cholesterol also reduces the size of cholesterol clumps in blood vessels called plaques and prevents them from rupturing. When plaque ruptures, it can block blood vessels and cause heart disease and stroke. Therefore, consuming blue fish activates good cholesterol and reduces these risks. In fact, studies have shown that eating blue fish at least three times a week can rejuvenate the substantial age of blood vessels by as much as 10 years. And a cardiologist who eats blue fish daily reports an astonishing 13-year rejuvenation in the age of his blood vessels. These cases show that the lipids in bluefish are the strongest ingredients for rejuvenating blood and blood vessels and keeping them healthy. Conversely, the fats found in meat often make blood sluggish and damage blood vessels. Therefore, simply replacing it with fish will help protect your blood vessels and blood. Remember, meat is delicious, but increasing your fish intake can greatly help your vascular and blood health. Eating blue fish is easy. For example, bluefish such as mackerel and sardines can be served raw as sashimi, or baked in foil to keep fatty acids from escaping. Eating bluefish with vegetables and onions further enhances its health benefits. Let's all include bluefish in our daily diet to maintain healthy blood vessels and blood. The third vegetable I would like to introduce is garlic, which is the most powerful vegetable for drastically reducing cholesterol. What do you think of when someone says that garlic is the most effective cancer preventive vegetable? Yes, that is garlic. In fact, did you know that garlic is introduced as the most effective cancer preventive food by the American Institute for Cancer Research? Garlic's cancer preventive effect is mainly due to an ingredient called allicin. This allicin has been shown in studies to inhibit the growth of cancer cells and even destroy them. And its effect is much stronger than that of ordinary vegetables. In addition, garlic also boosts the immune system. With a stronger immune system, the body is better protected against colds and flu as well as cancer. With all these wonderful health benefits, garlic has also been shown to have a wonderful effect on cholesterol. This means that garlic is a very healthy food in terms of blood vessels. This health benefit is said to inhibit cholesterol synthesis and lower cholesterol levels. Lowering cholesterol levels means, in essence, reducing remnant cholesterol. This remnant cholesterol is the cholesterol that is the source of plaque that causes atherosclerosis and thrombosis. Reducing the amount of this remnant cholesterol in cholesterol is consequently effective in preventing atherosclerosis and aging of the blood vessels. That is a wonderful effect. So why does garlic have this effect of reducing remnant cholesterol? Ionic compounds in garlic play an important role in inhibiting cholesterol synthesis. I mentioned earlier that the cancer preventive effect is related to a substance called allicin, which is a type of ionic compound. Because garlic contains so much allicin, it can dramatically reduce cholesterol levels. Furthermore, garlic is one of the most important foods to eat from a health perspective, not only for cholesterol levels, but also for cancer prevention, blood flow promotion, metabolism boosting, and vasodilating effects, as I explained in the beginning. However, because garlic has a distinctive smell, it may be difficult to consume it every day. For those who do, try to include garlic in your diet as much as possible. In terms of allicin intake, it has been shown that its effect can be enhanced by eating garlic grated and chopped into small pieces. 
The combination of fish and garlic introduced earlier is recommended for a tasty and healthy meal. Grated garlic can also be used in a variety of other dishes, so try incorporating it into your daily diet. Now, let me introduce the fourth one, the most powerful seasoning that rejuvenates the blood, which will make all the cells in your body rejoice. What seasonings do you use when cooking? You probably end up with mayonnaise, ketchup, or mensuyu, Japanese seasoning. However, these seasonings contain a lot of sugar, and we are concerned about the effects of additives. Therefore, from today, I would like to encourage you to utilize spices more abundantly in your cooking. As I mentioned a little earlier, spices such as garlic and ginger are rich in vitamins, minerals, and other antioxidants. Furthermore, various studies have confirmed their effectiveness in lowering bad cholesterol when consumed on a continuous basis. Of course, herbs and spices are not meant to be consumed in large quantities all at once, but even a small amount taken daily can have a blood thinning effect. One study found that just one clove of garlic a day for three months lowered total cholesterol levels by as much as 9%. The spice and herb also contains highly beneficial antioxidants, which can help even those who already have atherosclerosis. If you are concerned about sludgy blood, please try to include these spices and herbs in your daily diet. Now, from here, we will introduce more and more spices other than garlic and ginger that are effective in rejuvenating blood vessels. The first spice I would like to introduce is turmeric. Turmeric is a yellow spice, and it is famous for being often used in curry. And this turmeric has an action to prevent arteriosclerosis. In addition, turmeric is said to be effective for the liver and nerves, and also has the power to relieve arthritis symptoms. Next, cilantro, or pak choy, is another recommended spice. Coriander is especially common in Asian cuisine. It improves the function of ginkgo, which is helpful for digestion. It is also known that if you take turmeric and cinnamon together with cilantro, their useful ingredients are easily absorbed by the body, so we encourage you to take them together. And, cinnamon, is another spice that is good for your health. Cinnamon has the effect of dilating blood vessels and facilitates blood flow. It has also been shown to improve high blood sugar levels and may reduce the risk of diabetes. Another spice that comes highly recommended is, powdered sancho. Powdered sancho has detoxifying properties and helps eliminate toxins from the body. In addition, it improves blood flow, which helps to reduce sensitivity to cold, making it especially recommended during the cold season. And the spice, nutmeg, is also said to be good for your health. Nutmeg is especially effective when one is tired, and has a fatigue-relieving effect. In addition, it also promotes blood circulation, which helps relieve cold and tired hands and feet. It also has analgesic properties and is said to help with muscle pain and headaches. These are the five spices mentioned above, but there are many other spices that provide us with a variety of health benefits. Instead of relying on junky, unhealthy seasonings, we hope that you will enjoy your daily cooking by using many spices that are beneficial to your health, in addition to salt and pepper. Now, next to spices, I would like to introduce the most powerful food that rejuvenates the blood, which is sensed by all cells in the body. It is psyllium husk, the strongest fiber, with the ultimate rejuvenation work, available for only 20 cents a day, costing less than 20 cents. Psyllium husk is very popular in the West and is especially appreciated for its ability to lower bad cholesterol. It is easily available through online shopping sites, but you may not find it in supermarkets. If you are interested, please take a look at online sites. Psyllium originates from India and is characterized by its extremely high dietary fiber content, which absorbs water and expands in the intestines. As a result, it has long been known to help relieve constipation. However, recent research has shown that psyllium husk has wonderful health benefits that go beyond constipation relief. It is that psyllium husk can improve the balance of intestinal bacteria. Studies have shown that this better balance of intestinal bacteria reduces bad cholesterol. Certainly, we are beginning to understand that fiber as a whole is good for health, but what makes psyllium husk a good choice is that it is a fiber that is very easy to use in research, and its effects have been demonstrated quite scientifically. However, because psyllium husk is so potent in its effects, caution should be exercised. Taking too much can cause diarrhea and other side effects. In the end, moderation is best for everything. Taking too much at once because it is good for your health can cause side effects, so we recommend starting with a small amount, especially if you are trying it for the first time, and adjusting the dosage as you see how your body responds. Continued consumption of psyllium husk not only improves constipation, but is also said to be very helpful in managing cholesterol levels. In addition, psyllium husk is very easy to take. It comes in a powder form that you simply dissolve in water and drink, making it easy to use, and it is very reasonably priced, starting at only 20 cents per serving, which is another reason why we recommend it. Health is the most important investment you can make in the long run. Psyllium husk is one of the best options to do so, as it provides great benefits for little expense. We hope you will give it a try and experience its benefits. Here is a good summary of the contents of the first contract. Below are the key points of the summary. Point 1. Sakekasu is a traditional Japanese condiment with very useful health benefits. It has the wonderful effect of rejuvenating blood vessels, and there are many ways to use amazake and sakekasu desserts in your diet. Buy some and give it a try. Point 2. Fish is a healthy food and has the effect of rejuvenating the blood. 
Rejuvenating the blood allows the cells to receive nutrients and oxygen and to collect waste products. Try to eat one fish every day. Point 3. Garlic is well known for its cancer preventive properties, but it is also excellent for rejuvenating blood vessels and blood flow. The health benefits of garlic can be obtained by grating or chopping it, so use it as a seasoning. Point 4. Spices provide a variety of health benefits, some of which are particularly effective in improving blood flow. Turmeric, nutmeg, cinnamon, coriander, old ginseng, and jiao are recommended. Point 5. Psyllium husk is a scientifically backed fiber that can be started at as little as 20 cents a day. It is easy to use, just dissolve in water and drink. It is worth trying to incorporate into your health. It is important to keep these points in mind to build healthy eating habits. In the next two paragraphs, we will discuss the worst drink, which causes the blood to become sluggish and all the cells in the body to tear, age, and die. This worst drink, as it turns out, is alcohol. Many people may understand that alcohol is bad for your health, but do you know the fact that alcohol ages your blood and blood vessels? Drinking alcohol causes the desire to pee more often, and there are two major reasons for this. The first is because alcohol is a diuretic. The second, and more important, is that the body considers alcohol to be a poison and is trying to expel it. Of particular note is acetaldehyde, a toxic substance produced after alcohol is metabolized in the liver. This substance has a detrimental effect on the liver and other organs, which increases over time. The body struggles to eliminate this harmful substance, resulting in increased peeing. Of course, peeing in an attempt to eliminate harmful substances is not bad in itself, but it results in the loss of water from the body, and the blood becomes sluggish. You may also notice bad breath when you drink alcohol. Acetaldehyde, a toxic substance, is also involved in the cause of bad breath. In fact, your breath smells bad when you consume alcohol because your body tries to expel acetaldehyde with your breath. Likewise, the same reason you find your sweat particularly smelly the next day. The body is also trying to expel these harmful substances through the skin. Thus, as a result of increased breathing and sweating, the body uses a large amount of water. As a result, water is lost not only from the cells but also from the blood, causing the blood to become sluggish and circulation to slow down. If this continues over a long period of time, it can strain blood vessels and cause a variety of health problems. People over the age of 60 should be especially concerned about the effects of alcohol, as blood vessels tend to stiffen with age. In addition, alcohol consumption can lead to an increase in triglycerides. Triglycerides are a type of fat found in the blood that is produced by the liver in the process of converting alcohol into harmless substances. When these triglycerides, called triglycerides, increase, more fat flows into the blood, making the blood greasy and sticky. This condition leads to poor flow in the blood vessels and increases the burden on the heart. Furthermore, sludgy blood increases the likelihood of arteriosclerosis and heart disease. We have found that alcohol consumption has a negative effect on the balance of water and blood in the body. Alcohol consumption should be carefully monitored when considering health. Particular attention should be paid to triglycerides after the age of 50s. This is because the effects of alcohol are even more serious as the body's functions decline with age and triglycerides tend to increase. Indeed, when you were in your 20s or 30s, the effects of alcohol consumption may have been minor and the burden on the body may not have been felt as much. However, as we age, the effects of alcohol become more significant. Therefore, if you are concerned about your health, once you reach a certain age, you should refrain from consuming alcohol, no matter how much you like it. You may think that small amounts are not a problem, but as those small amounts accumulate, the impact on your health will increase. Of course, there is no harm in not drinking at all if you can do so from a young age. But even if you have been drinking, you can minimize the negative effects by stopping even today. Please be aware that the older you get, the greater the negative effects of alcohol, and if you are in your 50s or 60s, be sure to reduce your alcohol intake. By the way, you may have heard that alcohol consumption increases good cholesterol. This is a little-known study from last month, so you may have heard it somewhere. It is true that alcohol increases the synthesis of good cholesterol and decreases its breakdown, and this is a scientific fact. It is scientifically accepted that drinking alcohol does indeed increase good cholesterol. While this may lead to the claim that alcohol is good for your health, the reality is a little different. After all, there are advantages and disadvantages in all foods. It is important to choose foods that have the most advantages when it comes to health. It is true that alcoholic beverages may have the effect of slightly increasing good cholesterol, but on the other hand, alcoholic beverages contain many elements that are harmful to the body. Drinking alcohol puts a strain on the liver and can increase triglycerides. It also increases the risk of losing large amounts of water, which can cause blood to become sluggish. This can lead to chronic health problems such as high blood pressure and diabetes. Therefore, it is very likely that the overall disadvantages of alcohol outweigh any judgment that alcohol is good for you based solely on the increase in good cholesterol. To maintain a healthy balance, it is wise to drink alcohol sparingly and preferably not at all. That is the wise choice for a long, happy, and healthy life. Let me summarize the content of the two points. Point 1. Alcohol is the worst drink of all, as it makes your blood run dry and ages every cell in your body. Alcohol has a diuretic effect, decreasing the amount of water in the body and making the blood more sluggish. 
It also promotes the synthesis of triglycerides, a factor that makes the blood sticky. People in their 50s and older are particularly susceptible to this effect and should therefore refrain from alcohol consumption. Point 2. Alcohol consumption decreases the amount of water in the body, causing the blood to become sluggish, which puts a strain on blood vessels and leads to a variety of health problems. It increases the risk of high blood pressure, arteriosclerosis, and heart disease. In particular, people over the age of 60 need to pay special attention to the effects of alcohol, as their blood vessels are naturally prone to stiffening with age. Point 3. Although alcohol also increases good cholesterol, it has many other disadvantages. It is likely to lead to chronic health problems such as liver damage, increased triglycerides, high blood pressure, and diabetes. To maintain good health, it is wise to consume alcohol sparingly and preferably not at all. Finally, if you found this video helpful, please click the high rating button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for listening today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you again.